So let us solve the exercise 2.4 solving quadratic equation by completing square completing square method means we will make the left hand side complete square then take the square roots of both the sides and then equate okay what you have to remember whenever you are finding out the third term at that time there should be no other term than x square there should not be or the quadratic coefficient should be 1 it should not be like 2 x square 3 x square 9 x square not like that if it is like if it is there you have to eliminate that and only then you have to find a third term and then add that third term after adding the third term if you get denominator then you can eliminate that but not before okay now let's solve the examples first example is x square plus 8x plus 9 equal to 0 good news this kind of example for completing the square are for three marks in the exam and this was there in March 2013 exam three marks very very simple example very simple example what you will do first first you will this 9 will go this side become minus 9 and now how will find out the third term half coefficient of x square that is 4 square 16 then you have to add this 16 to both the sides and find out the answer there is nothing in this example that I should solve on the board okay you have to try it by yourself right I'll just give you answer to this minus 4 plus root 7 or minus 4 minus root 7 solve this example and check the answers z square plus 6z minus 8 equal to 0 how you do it take this minus 8 to that side be sure no coefficient is here okay this is fine take this minus 8 there it will become plus 8 what is the third term third term is half into 6 square that is 9 okay add this 9 to both the sides and finish this example answer to this example is minus 3 plus root 17 and minus 3 minus root 17 or I can simply write minus 3 plus minus root 17 complete the example and check the answer we will go to third example third example is m square minus 3m minus 1 again this is for 3 marks very simple you can get these 3 marks very easily don't forget the signs ok before transferring this check if m square is alone yes it is alone transfer this to this side will become 1 then third term be careful here the middle term coefficient is not 3 it is minus 3 square I know that even if I don't write minus 3 the answer will be same because minus 3 square is 9 and 3 square is also 9 but still you should write minus 3 here if you get this step wrong though your answer is right 9 by 4 even if you take plus it will be 9 by 4 but your half mark can get cut if you don't write this minus sign because this sign comes from here now add this 9 by 4 to both the sides and finish your example the answer to this example is 3 plus root 13 upon 4 
अपॉन टू एंड थ्री माइनस रूट थर्टीन अपॉन टू विल मूव अहेड टू फोर्थ एग्जाम्पल वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस फोर वाई नाउ वॉट यू डू सिंपल आई वॉन्ट दिस इन द जनरल फॉर्म वी यूज टू फाइंड आउट द कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड दैट मीन्स ओनली वाई स्क्वायर एंड फोर वाई शुड बी ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड रेस्ट ऑन द राइट साइड सो हियर इट इज वाई स्क्वायर माइनस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री आई डोंट हैव टू ट्रांसफर द थ्री फर्स्ट राइट जीरो देन अगेन ट्रांसफर थ्री देयर नो यूज ऑफ दैट स्टेड अवे यू कैन गेट दिस एग्जाम्पल ओके स्टेड अवे यू कैन कम टू दिस स्टेप उगीच स्टेप्स वाढ़ आता अपने जास्त मार्क मिलते वगैरह अस का नहीं है क्या कई जन अस कर कि y स्क्वेर माइनस फोर वाय माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ ट्रांसफर दीज टू दैट साइड सो फाइव स्क्वेर माइनस फोर वाय इक्वल टू थ्री कशा सा कराएं तो एक स्टेप वाढ़ा मे का अर्थ नहीं है तरह का जास्त मार्क्स वगैरह मिलना नहीं है ओके हि स्टेप डायरेक्ट लिखू शकता तुम्हें ठीक है आता चेक वाई एकटाच है ना यस इज अलोन देर वाई स्क्वेर इज अलोन सो नाउ वॉट इज अ थर्ड टर्म हाफ इंटू माइनस फोर ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर सो इट इज माइनस टू ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर इज फोर एड दिस फोर टू बोथ द साइड्स एंड यूल गेट द आंसर द आंसर फॉर दिस इज टू प्लस माइनस रूट सेवेन दैट इज वन रूट इज टू प्लस रूट सेवेन सेकेंड इज टू माइनस रूट सेवेन फाइन विल गो अड फिफ्थ सम इज p square minus 12p plus 32 minus 12p plus 32 equal to zero. Check if he is alone or not. Yes, he is alone. Transfer this 32 to that side. It will become minus 32. And third term is half into minus 12 bracket square. That is 36. Now you have to add these thirty-six to both the sides, and answer to this is roots are eight or four. Value of p you find out is eight or four. Finish off this example and check your answer. Mind well, I can solve all these examples here for you, but it is nothing but just waste of time. Okay, because I want you to think yourself, discuss the. problems with me i will solve every problem that i feel where you are going to stuck up and then you solve by yourself okay let's see the sixth example now here x x minus 1 equal to 1 now again don't think that there is not quadratic equation at all first open this bracket what you will get very simple x square minus x equal to 1 sim check if x is alone or not yes he is alone so let us find a third term third term is equal to 1/2 into minus 1 square that is 1 upon 4 add this 1 upon 4 to both the sides right left hand side as a complete square of some bracket and then take the square root of the both the sides and you will get the answer the answer to this is 1 plus root 5 upon 2 and 1 minus root 5 so it is 1 plus minus root 5 upon 2 this is the sign once plus once minus let us go to seventh one Three y square plus seven y plus one. Okay, what is the first step? First step, take one to that side, right? Do it. Done. That is wrong. What was the first step? First, you have to check whether he is alone or not. No, he is not alone there. 
there is digit 3 quadratic coefficient is present so what you have to do first before taking the third term divide by the whole equation by 3 right so this will become y square plus 7 upon 3y now take this to that side okay which will become minus 1 upon 3 and your third term will be equal to half into coefficient of y here 7 upon 3 square so 7 by okay solve this and find out the add this term to both the sides find out the final answer now here after writing you can eliminate this 3 after writing this but not before okay so this will be y square plus 7 upon 3 y plus 49 by 36 equal to minus 1 by 3 plus 49 by 36 solve this and you will get the answer the answer for the seventh is minus 7 plus minus root 37 upon 6 okay see the numbers are big 49 36 but don't worry the calculation won't change don't forget that while solving this this is minus okay either you take 36 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 49 into 3 upon 36 into 3 or actually the LCM is by that method also you can do whichever method you know you can do it okay let us try the eighth example of 2.4 how you solve this first I want p square and p on the one side so I'll get 4p square minus 12p equal to minus 7 okay now p is not alone I have to eliminate this 4 so divide both the sides by 4 or divide each term by 4 and we will get p square 3p I am writing it directly 12 upon 4 is 3 and minus 7 upon 4 so what is your last term here third term is half into minus 3 bracket square that is 9 upon 4 you have to add this 9 upon 4 to both the sides and you will get the answer the answer for this is 3 plus minus root 2 upon 2 this is the answer for this problem solve it you will get the answer we'll see the last example ninth example of 2.4 okay let us see that 6m square plus m equal to 2 6m square plus m equal to 2 very simple what you will do first eliminate this 6 so it will be m square plus m upon 6 equal to 2 by 6 that is 1 upon 3 you have to write one more step but I am just writing it 1 upon 3 now what about the third term third term is equal to half what is the coefficient of m is 1 upon 6 square so you have to add this 1 upon 144 to both the sides make the left hand side as the perfect square then take the square root of both the sides and find the value of m or the roots of this quadratic equation answer is 1 upon 2 or minus 2 upon 3 
check your answers whenever I'm telling you solve this example at that time what you have to do you have to pause the video complete the things and check your answers if the answers are correct or not otherwise if you have taken a rough notebook with you while studying these videos you have to write down the answers later on solve this and check your answers okay so here we finish 2.4 and we have seen the solution of quadratic equation by completing the square method in next topic what we are going to see is the solution of quadratic equation by formula method this is very easy you have to just apply one formula that's all nothing much and two marks or one marks are in your pocket straight away so let's see this in next video thank you